This is Chris Bidet with the like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Bidet, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both my TikToks, that will be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my WWE Friday Night Smackdown, September 22nd, 2023 reviews. So here we go, discussing about tonight's episode of Friday Night Smackdown. Now we uh, kick off the show with John Cena. So yeah, John Cena comes out there. He's kicking off Smackdown for tonight. And he says that, you know, he's been doing a lot of stuff since returning back to SmackDown. He says that he, uh, he's he been doing a lot of stuff like being a backstage correspondent, hosting a uh, premium live event. And he says that he was a special guest referee. And then the fans start saying what? He goes, like, official. And he's fans chatting what? And he says the person that does, uh, you know, counts down the middle and all that stuff. So, yeah. Uh, and then he tells the fans that they finally won. So, yeah, that's what John Cena was saying. But then he says that, uh, you know, he's been going town to town and everything, like Pittsburgh, Denver, Colorado, all that stuff. And he says that uh, pretty much something interesting happened last week with the bloodline attacking him. And then uh, AJ Styles makes a save. So he says, how about him and AJ Styles team up up against the bloodline? And then all of a sudden, AJ Styles comes out there. And Styles looks at Cena and he goes like, let me get this right you want me to team up with you and Cena starts shaking his head yeah and the crowd is going crazy saying yeah and everything else and then Styles looks back at the entrance way he says bloodline how about if you want some come get some so yeah then we get Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa the bloodline coming out there they get on the ring apron Jimmy Uso is smiling and all that stuff and then he just decides to get off the apron Solo looks at Jimmy and then Jimmy tells Solo like Come on, we're not messing with them. And then Solo gets off the ring apron as well, and they both start walking off. But yeah, that's what happened there. Uh, they're teasing Cena and uh, AJ Styles tonight. That's what happened there. Pretty good stuff. But yeah, still to come later on tonight on SmackDown, we will see uh, EO Sky defending the WWE Women's Championship up against Asuka 101 later on tonight on SmackDown. Uh, not only that, I think up next they're going to be showing what happened last week on SmackDown with The Rock and Austin Theory. And not only that, up next we're going to be seeing Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar, the LWO versus Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits, up next in a tag team match. So yeah, that'll be the first match of the night. And that match will be happening up next. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night SmackDown. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on Friday Night SmackDown, it was a tag team match. It was the first match of the night. It was the United States Champion, Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar, the LWO versus Angelo Dawkins and Montez for the Street Profits with Bobby Lashley at ring. So, so yeah, we'll get to this match. In this match, it was a pretty good match. We see... Uh, Santos Escobar and Montez Ford going at it outside of the ring. And then inside of the ring, we see Rey Mysterio setting up for the 619 onto Angelo Dawkins. He runs to the ropes, hits the ropes, comes back, but he gets hit with Sky High, the sit out spine buster by Angelo Dawkins. Dawkins pins him. One, two, uh, the pin gets broken up at the count of two by Santos. And then Montez Ford gets again there. But then Montez Ford gets in the ring and throws Santos Escobar out the ring. And then Rey Mysterio tosses uh, Ford out of the ring as well. And then we see Angelo Dock is actually tossing Rey over the top rope. And he accidentally lands on Ford. So yeah, Ford got taken out. And while the referee's pulling Angelo back because they like Angelo trying to get out the ring and the referee's pulling him back, uh, the referee's distracted. And that's when Bobby Lashley comes up and pretty much like choke slams Rey Mysterio on the ring apron. And then he uh, pushes Ray back into the ring. Uh, and then we see Angelo Dawkins lift up Ray. It looks like he's trying to hit a power bomb. But then Ray reverses it into like a sunset flip uh, pin into, you know, into the pin or whatever. Only to Angelo Dawkins rolling him up, getting the one, two, three. So yeah, Ray Mysterio and Santos Escobar, the LWO, defeated. Angelo Dawkins and Montez for the Street Profits tonight in a tag team match. That's what happened. Great tattoo match. I liked it. It was a good one. Uh, for that match, I'll give it two and a half stars. That's why I'll give it a pretty good start to SmackDown. Uh, that's why I'll give that match a pretty good one. And they did show what happened last week on SmackDown with The Rock and Austin Theory and all that stuff, which was pretty good as well. But yeah, still to come later on tonight, we'll see a contract signing with John Cena and AJ Styles and the Bloodline later on tonight. 
And up next, we're going to be seeing Io Sky defending the WWE Women's Championship up against Asuka 101 up next on SmackDown. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So, the next thing that happened on Friday Night SmackDown, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was... The WWE Women's Champion Io Sky with Bailey and Dakota Kai Damage Control at ringside versus Asuka 101 for the WWE Women's Championship. Now, this match, it was a pretty damn good match. It was going back and forth between these two women coming up near falls multiple times. Asuka came close a few times, same for Io. It was just a pretty damn good match. I think this is the first ever time that they faced off one on one. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I said, pretty good match between these two women. Like, we see a German suplex with a bridge from Io onto Asuka. She pins her one, two, Asuka barely kicking out two. Then Asuka starts taking control of this match at the ending, pretty much hitting a missile drop kick off the second turnbuckle and everything on Io. But then she grabs Io and locks on the Asuka lock as they're spinning her around like crazy. Finally locks on the Asuka lock. It looked like Io Sky was going to either pass out, tap out, uh, and yeah, Io's trying to crawl to the ropes and everything. Asuka's not letting her crawl no closer to the ropes. And then we see, uh, the, while the referee was paying attention to that, Bailey grabs Io's foot and places it on the ropes and calls for the ref. So the ref sees Io's foot on the ropes, so Asuka had to break up the submission hole because of rope break. So yeah, that's what happened there. And then we see Charlotte Flair coming up, hitting a forearm onto Bailey, laying her out. And then uh, Asuka has her head poking out the second rope, like, going like, what the hell? What, who did that, you know? And then Io Sky comes up with the double knees to the back of the head onto Asuka, laying her out. And then she climbs up the top turnbuckle and jumps off with the moonsault onto Asuka and then pins her for the one, two, three. So, yeah. Io Sky defeated Asuka tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match, and she has retained the WWE Women's Championship. That's what happened. Great match between those two women. I really liked it. It was great stuff. Uh, for that match, I'll give it three and a half stars. That's why I'll give it a great match between Io Sky and Asuka um, on SmackDown. But then, after that match, we see uh, Solo Sokoa, Jimmy Uso, and Paul Heyman in the locker room, and then Adam Pearce comes up with the uh contract trying to get them to sign the contract and Paul Heyman's like hey like they ain't going to um face John Cena and AJ Styles tonight with it and um Adam Pearce is like no they're gonna be facing them at Fastlane and you know Paul Heyman wanted to talk to Roman Reigns about it first but Jimmy says yeah Adam we'll be out there tonight and then he walks away and then we see Solo Sokoa telling Paul Heyman hey don't worry because after tonight, nobody's going to be fighting against that fast lane. So, yeah, that's what Solo Sokoa said. But, yeah, good stuff. Later on tonight, a contract signing between the Bloodline and AJ Styles and John Cena. But next, we're going to be seeing the Brawl and Bruce in action up next. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night SmackDown. See you guys later until then. So, the next thing that happened on Friday Night SmackDown, it was a tag team match. But before we talk about the tag team match, we're going to talk about pretty deadly so yeah we see elton prince and kit wilson pretty deadly pretty much like a video package with um elton prince working out his shoulder and all that stuff getting better and then you know go after the brawling prince for what happened so yeah that's why they're pretty cool stuff i liked it. it was great but yeah and then we get to the tag team match it was rich hall and butch the brawling brutes versus austin theory and grayson waller in a tag team match and you know what also, Theory and Grace Waller, even though they haven't been a tag team for so long, bro, like, that, it, it has been working pretty damn well. I'm not even going to lie. Pretty good stuff. But, yeah, we'll get to the match in this match. It was a pretty good match for the most part. Uh, Rich Holland was dominating at the end, hitting the Alabama Slam onto Austin Theory and then locking on a Boston Crab onto Austin Theory inside the ring, trying to make him tap out. And outside of the ring, we see Butch uh, jumping off the second turnbuckle with a moonsault onto Grace and Waller and locking on a sleeper hold on the wall outside of the ring and then uh, Waller sees Austin Theory locked in Boston Crab so Waller had Butch on his, on his back and stuff with the sleeper hold and he runs Butch into the ring post taking him out. Then we see Grace and Waller hit that rolling uh, stunner onto Rich Hall and Waller he still got the Boston Crab locked on the Theory breaking up the submission and then Theory grabs Rich Holland lifts him up on his shoulders and hits A-Town down onto him and then he pins 
uh, Rich Holland for the three count. So yeah, Austin Theory and Grace Waller defeated um, Rich Holland and Butch the Brawl and Bruce tonight in a tag team match. That's what happened. Pretty good tag team match. I like that. I'll give it two and a half stars as well. I'll give it great tag team match between those two guys. But yeah, they're, now they're announcing that next week on SmackDown will be Rey Mysterio versus Santos Escobar for the United States Championship next week on SmackDown. So yeah, that match will be happening. But up next, we're going to be seeing the contract signing in between AJ Styles and John Cena and the Bloodline up next on SmackDown. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing happens on Friday Night SmackDown. See you guys later until then. So the next thing to happen on Friday Night Smackdown, we get to the last segment of the night where we see Adam Pearce inside the ring, and he's setting up the contract signing with John Cena, AJ Styles, uh, and the Bloodline. So yeah, at Fastlane, it's supposed to be John Cena, AJ Styles versus Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa, the Bloodline at Fastlane in a tag team match. So yeah, that's what the contract's for. So he introduces John Cena. John Cena comes out there, and he signs the contract, but then... He introduces AJ Styles. AJ Styles' theme song plays, but Styles does not show up at all. He does not come out because we see backstage that Jimmy Uso is attacking AJ Styles, beating him down and everything, and he tosses him over some crates and all that stuff. And then we see Solo Sokoa on top of a truck, uh, and then he just jumps off with a big splash onto AJ Styles while well, we don't see it, but he does it to Styles behind the crates and all that stuff, landing on him. And then we see Cena running back there, and Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa dips out. So yeah, they dip down, Cena's checking on Styles and everything, uh, and then SmackDown goes on a commercial break and comes back on, and then we see Styles on the stretcher getting loaded up in the ambulance. Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, Mia Yim, the OC, standing there, and they decide to go with Styles to the hospital, and Cena's all pissed off, and, you know, he's going to be heading out there to the ring. So yeah, then we see... Jimmy Uso, Solo Sokoa, and Paul Heyman, the bloodline, inside the ring. Uh, Paul Heyman's not happy about this situation and all that. And Jimmy Uso was talking about how, like they said, they was going to take out AJ Styles and they will take out John Cena as well. And he's the only one that signed the contract. And then uh, Jimmy Uso grabs the contract and he signs, I think, Solo did as well, maybe. But I know Jimmy did. And uh, then John Cena runs out there and he goes in there and starts brawling with the bloodline. But obviously, two on one. He's getting beat down then. So, yeah, he was taking control of this, tossing Solo out the ring. Well, actually beating down Solo outside of the ring, taking down, um, you know, uh, Jimmy inside of the ring, hitting the five-knuckle shuffle and stuff. Solo gets in there, but uh, Cena lifts him up on shoulder shade, the attitude adjustment, up until Jimmy comes over there, hitting a super kick on the Cena, laying him out, and then that's when the number starts taking control. Two-on-one, Solo picks up Cena, hitting the Samoa Spike onto him, and then Jimmy comes up there on the top turnbuckle laughing and everything. And then he just jumps off with the Samoan, uh, with the Uso splash onto Cena, laying him out. And then he signs the contract and all that. And then he climbs up the top turnbuckle again and jumps off with a second Uso splash on the Cena, laying him out. So yeah, Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa, the bloodline lays out uh, John Cena and AJ Styles tonight on SmackDown. That's what happened. Pretty good segment. I liked it. It was good. But yeah, that's what happened there. Match of the night gets to go to Asuka and Io Sky. That match was a good one. But yeah, for tonight's episode of SmackDown, I'll give it seven. I'll give it eight stars. That's why I'll give it. it was a good episode and all that stuff. But yeah, that's what happened there. But yeah, uh, for tonight's episode of Friday Night SmackDown, like I said, eight stars. And yeah, I'll be talking about AEW Collision tomorrow night, possibly. So yeah, look out for that. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris Bonales. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. And I'll be down there in the description box. And I'll see you guys later for tomorrow night's AEW Collision. See you guys later. Until then.